What's up, guys? This is Dragonfist900, and I'm joined with... Your boy, Jules. And we're back doing another rant video. But this isn't your ordinary, this isn't your, your ordinary rant. This is a series that me and my co-host have, um, have come up with called, called an in-depth character analysis in which we take a character from from an anime and basically analyze their strengths, weaknesses, major battles, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, this week's character is... The Prince of All Saints, Vegeta. Indeed, indeed. So, guys, um, I was thinking we would... I was thinking we would go on ahead and do... We would look at Vegeta's major battles and see what see who he was up against, what what the circumstances were, as well as as well as if he was victorious. So well, we know in a lot of them he did get beat up. That's true, but so without further ado, let's get right into it. So so we don't really know much about Vegeta's life before he co- before he comes to Earth, although we do know that he was the, that he um that he was the son the of the Prince King of All Vegeta. Saints. Well, yeah, but you don't really see him doing princely things. You just basically see him by his by his father's side as his father blows up a planet. Or something true, like that. true. And you, you don't really see much of Vegeta um, even before. I mean, the ma- okay, so the first major battle that Vegeta took part in was against was against Goku, who was a, who was a low class Saiyan warrior, and who, as we all know, is the main character of the Dragon Ball franchise. Yes, he is. Um. So basically, so basically, what happens is, um, Vegeta at this time is a power level of eighteen thousand, and Goku, having just recovered from a, well, not recovered, but having been brought back to life with the Dragon Ball after training with King Kai, um, ever listed the beat to stay in partner Nappa, and now, and now he begins the battle of Vegeta. Now it's clear from the get-go that Vegeta ha- has the upper hand as he's just, as he's effortlessly pum- pummeling Goku into a pulp. That is until Goku activates his KO Ken technique, which multiplies his power level by the by um I think I think the first time he uses it it's like it's like two or something like that. Yeah. But um it multiplies his power level twice and he basically get, he gains the upper hand for a short time, but it's clear that, that he's still outmatched by Vegeta. Um then when Vegeta said, then when Vegeta gets he said he can't like fully defeat Goku, he resorts um, just blasting him into oblivion with his Gallic gun, which Goku repels with his Kamehameha, but Goku couldn't hold it back for much longer, so he resort. So Goku pulled out using the Kaioken times four, sent thus sending Vegeta flying into the air. What are you doing, Tubby? What are you doing, Tubby? Oh, sorry, guys, it's my dog. There's no time to be playing with your dog for in the middle of a video. Sorry, but basically. So, um, okay, so the thing I like about the Goku vs. Vegeta fight, the first one, is the fact that it basically sets the bar for the other battles in the series. I mean, a basic. I mean, up until this, up until this point, we hadn't really seen anything like it. I mean, I'm mean, sure. I mean, sure, we saw fast-paced battles like Goku versus Piccolo at the twenty at the twenty-third martial arts tournament in Dragon Ball, but we hadn't really seen any. Um, I mean, we hadn't really seen an actual beam struggle or anything like that. True, we hadn't until Go- until Goku met Vegeta. Yeah, and also um, it seemed a very very intense rivalry intense rivalry between them. As the as the Vegeta could not understand how he was defeated by by a low class fan. So Vegeta resorts to use to train to a great ape. And he really goes and I guess Vegeta really goes ape, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, if you know what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, but um so Okay, so Vegeta transforms into his great ape form or Rizar or Rosario, which basically translates to um, Giant Monkey 8 in um, in Japanese. And he so, proceeds um, to pound in Goku into a pulp. 
Yeah, and it's clear it's clear that Goku stands no chance as he was already afforded multiple hundred to his power level, but I I think he said I think he said it increases to tenfold. I don't really know. So that was yeah. roughly equal about one hundred and eighty thousand up against Goku's um. What do you think? If it's over nine, if his power level is over nine thousand, how about over nine thousand? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Okay, that was totally off thing, but okay. So, um, so basically, what? Um, so, so, eventually, Vegeta is defeated thanks to the combined forces of Goku, Gohan, and Krillin. Who Ooh, just don't forget about John Jirobe, who sliced off Vegeta's tail. That and ran off like a coward. And that too. Speaking of John Jirobe, he's. I mean. I really, I don't really know if you played a pivotal role in Dragon Ball or anything, but in Z, he's kind of a big coward. Yes, he is. Plus, the only time he helps out is during the Saiyan saga, and then we don't hear anything from him. Yeah, he only helped cut off Vegeta's tail, and that was it. And he also trained with, with the others, although it wasn't really training. All he was doing was eating. Yes, he was. He didn't help. He didn't do shit. Okay, so moving on, moving on to the Namek arc. So Vegeta, after recovering from the battle with Goku, um, receives a massive Zenkai boost due, due to the due, due to his injury, and proceeds to the planet Namek, where he meets where he meets his old friend Kui, and who he then kills. Yes. All right, guys, we're back. Now, the Android arc, honestly, is really where the Dita character gets to shine. Mostly because, um, I mean, it's really where we get to delve into his talent part. I mean, basically, after he lands on it, after he returns to Earth, um, I mean, Vegeta does nothing but train in the 450 times gravity realm to catch up to Goku. And basically, well, we don't really see much of Vegeta until um, until the androids appear. So, um, androids, androids 19 and 20 appear, and they they easily beat Goku. Although Goku was although Goku was losing anyway because of the heart virus. Which they never explain how he died. Yeah, that's true. They never explained how he got it, but um, somehow he did. So, um, so basically, what? So, okay, so Goku loses, and just before Nineteen kill kills Goku, Vegeta appears and goes Super Saiyan to the astonishment of everyone. He then effortlessly obliterates Android Nineteen with one of his most famous attacks. Do it. Jules. What? Do the big thing again. Big bang attack! Yeah, so yeah, so that basically killed number 19 off. Um, but before, before they have a chance to kill, to kill, um, kill Dr. Shiro, they are saved by Bulma. Oh okay. my god, they are saved by friggin' Bulma, of all people. Oh, no, actually, let me rephrase that. Jiro is saved by friggin' Bulma, of all people. Ah, uh, so, so, Jiro, Jiro escapes, gets the fast, back to the Chewy Boy Android. Um, the Chewy Boy Android later reveals the Android 18, and it's the baby Vegeta, basically. As a super saiyan. As a super I know. Saiyan, Vegeta can't even touch her. Uh, well, well, I mean, okay, te- technically you could touch her, but he couldn't really do any real damage on her. I know, he he did kill, like, several innocent bystanders. But including he a truck. So, um... 
So after that, um, Vegeta basically is moping about his loss and everything. Um, and then the cell arc begins. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you for the cell arc. Oh, the cell arc. Vegeta trains his ass off along with Trunks in the hyperbolic time chamber. They do a lot of everyone else deals, goes and deals with Cell. And then after Goku retrieves Piccolo and Tien, him and Trunks exit the hyperbolic time chamber. They go face Cell. They go face Cell. While Goku and Gohan take their time. And then Vegeta shows up, shows off his new transformation. That he has ascended to Super Vegeta. Brags about it. They start. They go on to pummel the cell. Um, um, Super Vegeta. Okay, well, what's the audience? That word, what is it? Vegeta had a face on a white block. Yeah. 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 He goes on to beating, to beating up Cell, and then when Cell was on the team, he quickly, so she was distracted by Krulin, because Krulin was supposed to shut her down, but he had, his feelings for her got in the way, and he smashed the remote, because he thought he, he could find another way to get, he thought Vegeta could wipe out Cell before he could get to her, but due to Krulin's stupidity, Cell managed to absorb 18 to reach his perfect form, and then he then Cell goes on to waste Vegeta. So Vegeta gets pissed and releases his final flash attack, which kind of does nothing, did nothing to Cell, but just merely slow him down. And Cell totals Vegeta. That pisses Trunks off, makes Trunks go reach another level. But that doesn't do anything because his, Trunks' his massive size, due to his increased muscle mass, slowed Trunks down, so he really couldn't keep up with Cell's speed. So Cell manages to beat, managed to beat Trunks. And then during the Cell games, when the Cell games came up, after they had a while of their train, Cell unleashed the Cell Juniors during his fight with Gohan to try and get Gohan mad. But she did and the others get get their asses handed to them by the Cell Jr. And the only one who was able to actually take all the Cell Jr. out with just one shot was Gohan after he reached the same two. And Vegeta was just stood there in awe as he's watched as a kid Goku's son best him. And Vegeta actually apologized to Gohan for not being strong enough to help him because Vegeta was given a major wake-up call when Cell killed Trunks, his only son. He saw that he... Vegeta saw that his pride in being a son was getting in the way of him. So, he, after seeing his, the death of his own his only son, Vegeta gets mad, charges at Cell, to try, charges at Cell blindly, and then gets knocked down. And then during the beam struggle between the Cell Solar Kamehameha and Gohan's father, son Kamehameha, Vegeta blasts Cell in the back to give Gohan an extra edge. This, then Gohan goes on to blasting the Cell into oblivion. He even managed to destroy his cells, so he could not regenerate. And that's basically the end of Cell Arc. You want to take the Boo Arc? All right. So, the Majin Boo Saga. Oh, man, where to begin with the Majin Boo Saga? I mean... Um, okay, so for Vegeta's... For Vegeta's story in the Majin Boo Saga... Basically, to begin, the... Okay, so... There's another Tenkai Ichi Budo kind of that's being hosted. And... Um, he got the other go to it, 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 So, so they come back, but it's revealed that an evil wizard named Bobby is trying to resurrect the species on a modern day. 
Um, so basically, so defeating Goku, Gohan, and the Supreme Kai, um, going to bother these spaceship and I try to stop it. Yeah, every listener he plea for you, which was really humorous. Um, and then, um, but Vegeta, 